ัลโหลฮัลโหลโกยูนีเปิดบ้านจ้าวันนี้คุณมาร์คเลิฟคุณครูใหญ่ใจดีจากออกฟอร์ดซิกฟอร์มคอลเลจโรงเรียนมัธยมชื่อดังจากเมืองออกฟอร์ดมาเยือนโกยูนีถึงออกฟิตเลยงานนี้จะพาเดยังไงพี่ๆเลยชวนคุณครูใหญ่มาเมาส์มอยภาษาอังกฤษเกี่ยวกับโรงเรียนออกฟอร์ดซิกฟอร์มคอลเลจพร้อมชวนคุณครูเล่นกิจกรรมสนุกสนุกด้วยจะเป็นยังไงไปดูกันฮัลโหลทุกคน m ันชื่อฉันคือมาร์คลาฟและฉันเป็นผู้ประกอบการของโรงเรียนออกฟอร์ดซิกฟอร์มคอลเลจอย่างที่คุณสามารถเห็นจากที่นี้Um, I have been in education for a long time, just over 30 years now, as a teacher, a governor, and now a principal. Firstly, it's the fact that it is a sixth form college. Now that means we focus on 16 to 19 year age group. That means it's very much it's a young adult environment. Second thing is the size. So we're a small school. We have 180 students. The other programs no more than 10 students in the class. The third thing is the diversity. We've got students from around 40 different countries. A wonderful breadth of culture and background and nationality. That makes the college a very vibrant um, community to study. I think the students in particular. I think young people these days are very, very aware that the world that they are going to work in is a very diverse world. Young people need to understand cultures from across the world. That very, that really, really attracts lots of the students to us. Definitely. So the majority of my students study two-year A levels. So we offer 15 different subjects across the sciences, humanities, art, graphic communication, and so on. We also offer a BTEC business course, which is very different to A level, much lower amount of formal exam assessment. We offer a one-year GCSE course, and we offer a pre-A level for students who need to improve their English before they actually start A levels. Because the students are young adults, not children, the dynamic in the classroom is completely different. You want them to question. You want them to engage in, in debates and analysis. I, the teacher, know everything. Students, you know nothing. It's not like that at all. It's a combined effort to develop those skills that, that the young people need. So I think the first thing I would say is that we celebrate every student's success. If they work really hard, We're not just focused on that very narrow range of we only want students who want to go to Oxford or Cambridge. Yeah, we have students who do that, but we have students who go to a very broad range of different universities. My advice to people listening would be: don't just be focused on schools that produce a list of G5. It's not just about the G5. It's about the right university, the right course for the right students. So we are very different from most colleges and schools. We have three people called senior tutors. A senior tutor does not teach. What his or her job is to overlook a student's overall experience at the college, their academic progress, their personal progress, if everything in their private lives, their family lives, is that okay? And that senior tutor provides that holistic wraparound care for the student. In many schools, people doing those similar roles, they fuss too much over the young people, which young people don't like. My students are there doing that job, but in a way that is subtle, in a way that the students don't feel that they're being watched 24-7. You need to give them that space to grow and develop. <laughs> 30 seconds. Yeah, you ready? Kind of. Yeah. <laughs> One, two, three, go. American, British, Brazilian, Australian, Canadian, French, German, Thai, Vietnamese, Kazakhstan, Uzbekistan, Poland, Bulgaria, Romania. You really got me going on this one, haven't you? <laughs> Indonesia, Singapore, I think I'm going with Bulgaria, <laughs> Russia, Ukraine. Uh, China, against... Hong Kong, Taiwan, Korea. Maybe if I miss the country, I'm really sorry. Definitely miss it. Awesome. Being in your country, you're one of my students. So I'm really, really sorry. This is why we have the words for you there. So okay. we would like you to describe Oxford Sixth Form College in three words, and maybe you explain why. 
The first one, which is, is varied, what I've mentioned already, is the variety of young people and their different backgrounds, which just makes for this wonderful, lovely, lively community that I've described. So that's why I'm going to choose varied as my, my first word. My second word, do you know what, I, I am going to go for this. Life-changing. Seems a bit of a grand statement to make, doesn't it? I see so many students start with us. When they start, they are not necessarily completely confident, they may be quite shy, not particularly social, uh, not particularly sure of themselves. Part of that is just a function of being 16. And I think what our school does, what our college does, is because of the, the environment we offer, I think the young people, they grow. They grow in confidence, they grow in belief in themselves, belief in their own values, belief in what they want to do. And when they leave us, they're completely changed people. We've changed them as people for the good, which means they can then go and change their lives. Um, third one, <laughs> I'm going to go for this one. Family has apparently sent two daughters to school. We underestimate how important that is to young people. We think it's about wraparound pastoral care, which is very, very, very important. And my piece of advice to the uh, adults and parents on this, don't underestimate that. Because once again, when you're a young person, you might be going to a school overseas for the very first time in your life. That is crucial. That you arrive and you are met with friendly staff and that helps you to settle down very, very quickly. That is crucial. So, friendly, life-changing. There we go. Oxford's a football match. Thank you very much. ฟังคุณครูใหญ่มาร์คเลิฟพูดแล้วอยากเรียนแล้วใช่มั้ยล่ะมาพบกับออกฟอร์ดซิกฟอร์มคอลเลจและสถาบันการศึกษาชื่อ